Welcome back to the City Current Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And in this case, we're talking about Smith and Nephew and Memphis Youth Athletics, all tied together with STEM and camps and so much more. We're honored to have with us Kelly Grusin. He's the Senior Director of Product Development with Smith and Nephew, and he's a board member with Memphis Youth Athletics. Kelly, how are you doing? Great. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. Absolutely. So we have a lot of fun storylines to talk about. Let's start with Smith and Nephew so that we have some context there. Give us a little bit about Smith and Nephew globally, but especially locally. So how do you describe Smith and Nephew? Yeah, so Smith and Nephew is a global orthopedic uh, company, also has wound and endoscopy products. Uh, We're in every country around the world, uh, full global exposure. Uh, Here in Memphis, we are an orthopedics headquarters. Uh, Really, that's the the DNA for uh, Smith and Nephew in Memphis. We've been here for 150 years, uh, not always as Smith and Nephew. We started as Richards Medical and have just uh, grown to be where this is one of the orthopedic headquarters of the world in Memphis. Give us a little background on your role at Smith and Nephew. So uh, I'm in product development. It's sort of a engineering slash marketing job. We, we go out, we uh, watch surgeries, we talk to surgeons, we look for ways to improve things. How can we make products better for patients? How can we make the procedures simpler and easier for surgeons and provide solutions? Uh, it's something that I always wanted to be in myself. Uh, I grew up with a mother who had rheumatoid arthritis from literally the day I was born. And so this is what I love doing. One of the things I know that uh, you highlight is Smith and Nephew's, you know, encouragement of service and being out in the community. And this will tie us to Memphis Youth Athletics. Give us an illustration of some of the things that you really appreciate, like the commitment to service, the commitment to community for working with Smith and Nephew. Yeah, so Smith and Nephew was always seen, when I was growing up, it was always seen, uh, Richards Medical slash Smith and Nephew, it was always seen as this company that was like uh, a big family, uh, took care of its own, took care of the city around it, and and to, to be able to be in product development and work for a company that cares about the community like it does is just this perfect storm for me. Uh, feels like the place I've always want to be and, and couldn't couldn't think of being anywhere else because of that. So uh, you know, from the day I started at Smith & Nephew, there were outreach activities and things that were going on. We uh, were probably the first thing I experienced was something called Project Apollo, which was where we collect a lot of products back from the field that have either expired in their sterile packaging or they were just returned and maybe it had a nick on it or some small damage. And we would compile those products together and send them to needing organizations around the world so that they would have access to medical products they couldn't otherwise afford. And so that's just kind of become um, the norm for Smith & Nephew here. And and we do that kind of thing um, every day for people in Memphis. Before we switch over and talk about Memphis Youth Athletics, give me one more thing that you wish everyone knew about Smith and Nephew. So it could be, uh, you know, fun trivia, something cool, or still around the heart for service. Oh, yeah. So uh, probably people don't know that we started out as just a manufacturing facility for a company called Depew, which is now owned by J&J. And uh, so we're, original, we're actually one of the original orthopedic companies in the world and in, in here in Memphis. So it's kind of crazy. I don't think people realize that the orthopedic industry began in Memphis. Yeah, very cool. So let's switch over and talk about Memphis Youth Athletics. As I mentioned at the onset, you're a board member. So when you <clears> talk <throat> about what the organization does, give us some context around Memphis Youth Athletics. Yeah. So I'll just start by simply saying you know, Memphis Youth Athletics has a mission, which is to create healthy habits with every run, jump and throw. And that simple statement really encompasses what Memphis Youth Athletics is about. Running is the purest, simplest sport to do and to get into. Um, Basketball, soccer, football, all those other things, you start to differentiate people a little bit. Running is running and everybody can do it. And so it's a great platform to fulfill our mission upon. 
and, and easy to do. And so that's what that's where we kind of got our start. And and but then that has tentacles that really reach out because it allows you to bring all kinds of groups together and, and bring them together easily. It doesn't matter if someone in basketball, somebody might be a great three point shooter. Somebody might be a good dribbler. You don't have that problem in running. Maybe some runners are faster than others, but they're, everyone succeeds because every time you improve your time from one run to another, whether you're a 30 minute 5 ker or a 15 minute 5 ker improvement drives you and, and that's success. So it's just an easy, pure sport and, and, uh, and a great one for our to have our mission built around. Absolutely. When you look at your personal engagement, I know you yourself grew up and you were a runner. So give us a little bit of your personal value <clears throat> for joining and being a part of the organization. Yeah, so it's it, it was a long road there. Um, no pun intended with running. But I started running in high school for one of the great coaches of Memphis, which was, who was Frank Horton, uh, heavily involved in the beginning the uh, Memphis Marathon and, and Memphis Runners Track Club. He was our coach at Christian Brothers. Uh, I really had always, every sport I'd done, I always enjoyed the running part of it the most, right? Running is a, is a punishment in most sports, but running for me was like throwing me in the briar patch. And so ran for Frank Horton, and I noticed that as I was working with him and training with him over the years that he didn't always seem well, didn't really know what was going on. He was quietly battling Luke. Lou Gehrig's disease, and uh, but kept on coaching us all the way through, just totally committed to it. And my senior year, uh, unfortunately, he reached the end of that battle and, and passed away right as we were finishing the season and, and literally was with us in the last week of his life, committed to what we were doing. And that his coaching and his commitment were were always uh, such an influence upon me. And everything I did after that, from college to graduate school, to my professional career, dedicating myself to stuff, I could hear his words uh, behind me all the time. And then I got had my kids, my kids I encouraged to run, and you can see how things progressed. Well, then my kids started running and I got involved in coaching because I wanted to coach them and I wanted them to have the best experience. But then I also got to start doing some of the things that Coach Horton taught me and to say some of those things to those kids and pass things along. And I really enjoyed that. But as my kids uh, finished up their school and, and moved into high school and other uh, um, and further on in their academic career, I needed to do something more. I wasn't, you know, just going to coach at a school anymore. So how could I make a bigger impact? Well, MYA became the obvious next choice because now I'm able to influence and impact kids from our entire region and be a part of that. So it really is the pinnacle for running for me to be a part of MYA. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that story. I think Anyone who grows up in sports, and for me, tennis is kind of the the you know side on that side, but you have all these coaches and mentors who pour into you. And so then as you grow up and you know have your own kids and coach them, but then to be able to pay it forward in a larger context by serving, you know, these youth, all these lessons that you learn and the encouragement and the passion and the commitment being able to translate that over to the next generation is a powerful way for us to keep their legacy as coaches alive, yeah. but also too to create that ripple effect um, that can pay forward for generations to come in terms of leadership and parenting and all these things that you're, you know, you're equipping the future leaders of our city um, mm -hmm. just by stepping in as a volunteer and as a coach and someone who cares. So let's kind of that play <clears throat> that forward for uh, Memphis youth athletics, because you know, you as a board member, but also as a supporter tied to Smith and Nephew have really created some amazing opportunities, including a STEM camp and uh, bringing campers in and doing this experiential learning opportunities and so much yeah. more. So give us a little bit of a teaser on some of the cool things that you've been able to do tying Memphis Youth Athletics, but Smith and Nephew together. Yeah, that was really the pinnacle of, of all of my efforts. Uh, you know, we have a summer program that MYA does every year during the summer for six to eight weeks. And I wanted to do something for that camp for the kids 
that would, again, tie everything together for me and make the camp more impactful for them because we've got an opportunity. We've got kids from all over the county who are together. They don't have their boundaries, their uniforms, anything. They're just all together. So it's a great chance for us to expose them to all kinds of things uh, that Memphis has to offer. And here, me being at Smith and & Nephew and, and how uh, it's always been such a prominent piece of Memphis to me, I wanted to give that something back to the kids that way. So we created a STEM day, which was a one day uh, event for the kids at the camp. And uh, kind of the goal was we wanted to, to tie it to what the camp was about. So it was uh, tied to the physical component to some degree, but we want the kids to understand, well, they're, they're running, they're doing things with their muscles and bones, but what happens if those bones are injured? And and then tied some creativity into it, uh, which was a nice aspect uh, of the of the STEM day. So we showed them about Smith and Nephew. Then we uh, described some products to them. I mean, and they had no idea. They're looking at trauma products, you know, which can be kind of scary. You know, rods that go inside the bone and plates that go on the outside of the bone, and external fixators and so on. Uh, but they really took to it and enjoyed it. And our goal with the program also was to not just talk to the kids. We wanted them to interact. So we gave them just enough to be dangerous information wise. And then we said, guess what? Uh, you're gonna go create a skit and you're gonna pretend that your counselor has broken a bone. You're gonna tell us what bone they broke and you're gonna perform a mock surgery. And the kids really got into it. We dressed them up, we put on scrubs and they came in and they were really surprising. Uh, they remembered that you had to put people under anesthesia, that's critical. And, and then they really surprised us and, and, and solved these things. And then there was another aspect, which is, again, tying what I love uh, about Smith and & Nephew, and that's the creativity of solving problems and making things better all the time. And so at that point, I didn't think having them design a better plate or a better rod would be applicable for them. But this again, this camp is about exercise and healthy habits. So we said, what about making a jump rope better? So we, uh, my team here, we created a lot of different components uh, of jump rope, different types of ropes from wire to cable, whatever, different handles. And so we gave a big pile of parts to the kids and said, design a better jump rope. And, you know, your first reaction is, how can you make a jump rope better? But we sent the kids off and we gave them maybe 45 minutes and they came back with the most inventive, creative things and shared that with the group. So I think we really sparked something in those kids. And we all said at the end, I can guarantee you out of these hundred kids, surely one of them is, has made a career choice out of what we've done today. And that was super, super fulfilling. Yeah, and I think, you know, you're sparking creativity, like with the jump rope, but you're also, too, you're opening their eyes to all these new opportunities and career fields that they would have never probably been exposed to. And to your point, it's it's creating more ideas for opportunities for their future, which I think is so powerful. I mean, the more they can see, the more they can potentially be. And I think that's the power of just everything you're doing, of combining all of these passions on your end, but opportunities, especially with Smith and Nephew, to open up the access, open up the possibilities for our youth. And so absolutely awesome. And, you know, and who knows, then you continue to build on that each year. And all of a sudden, yeah. you know, more and more momentum is created. Yeah. So wrap up on your end with, um, you know, Memphis Youth Athletics, where would you encourage or how would you encourage the community to be more supportive, to get involved, do kind of what you're talking about? How can we help Memphis Youth Athletics? Yeah, that's it's really, uh, that's a great question because there have been some efforts around town to create more, let's call them sports complexes. Um, and then I don't want to sound bitter about it, but tracks, running facilities have not been a focus of that. So the community could get more excited and then be more vocal about the simple sport of running and providing spaces for us, that's a huge help. We just, we don't have the tracks. We don't have access to the tracks. Um, I was thinking about this, you know, people probably think they see tracks all over town and they're like, why do you have trouble getting on a track? Well, a track in a lot of cases is nothing but a moat between a football field and, a, and spectators. It's not really seen as a track. 
you go to use a track and somebody's playing lacrosse or soccer or football on it, well, you, you can't use the track. And so we are really limited by that. And, and last year we had 1,100 kids come into our track program from 500 previously. And we try, we did, we accommodated very well, very efficiently an all day meet every Sunday with 1,100 kids coming through. We need more tracks. We need more access to that. And of course, volunteers to help us manage those programs is, is also really important for us. Yeah, I mean, volunteer powered is a big piece of that. I and, mean, you know, to your point is if you have a passion for running, if you have a passion for making a difference, if you grew up running, you know, any of those as a volunteer, it's an awesome opportunity to pour into our youth, just like, you know, you're doing and just like we're talking about. And so volunteer powered and like you said, opening the access to more tracks and opportunities to be able to run is a, a huge advantage and way to help as well. So wrap up with uh, where we can go to learn more, to get involved, to take those next steps. So where would you encourage people to go to learn more and get involved with Memphis Youth Athletics and also learn more about Smith & Nephew? Yeah, so on the Memphis Youth Athletics side, we have our website, memphisyouthathletics.org and find out about what we're up to, what's coming up. Uh, you'll also, hopefully we'll have it posted soon. We have a large capital campaign. We've started looking for a big strategic partner to help us maybe build some, some dedicated facilities for us. Uh, all that can be found on the memphisyouthathletics.org website. And then on the uh, Smith and Nephew side, finding more about Smith and Nephew, it's just smith-nephew.com. Uh, lots of great videos that show what we do. Uh, you'll see uh, lots of images of people getting back uh, to their active lifestyles, which is what Smith & Nephew is all about. Absolutely. Well, Kelly, thank you for all you and your amazing team do. Smith & Nephew has been a longtime charter partner in City Current. So when you talk about community engagement, it runs all throughout. So we appreciate you and your team for sure and everything you're doing in our community, especially with Memphis Youth Athletics. So thank you so much for all you do and for coming on the show. Uh, Jeremy, thanks for having me and giving me a chance to talk about what we do and a little bit about myself.